Hey you guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justin's Drink Reviews. Morse. We're back at it again with another brand new review just for you guys. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff because we have Paps Blue Ribbon Coffee Variety Pack. We've done the hard coffee before, but now we have a hazelnut, a salted caramel, a mocha, and an original here that we're going to be trying for you guys today. We've been trying to get this one going all week. We finally was able to get a box. Uh, we split it up between me and a friend. So, Let's jump right into these. All right, so we're gonna pour out into our flight glass here behind the bar, or behind the cans. We're gonna pour a little bit in each one. Try to put them behind their ones. Oh, they smell so good. This one is the mocha. Pretty lady want me to save for some of the mocha. And then the last one. Right, so there you have it. Not a huge difference in the color tones, I don't think, but they do look pretty good. They smell amazing. They smell just like coffee. We're gonna start right to left because I like doing things backwards, and we're gonna start with the original. It smells really good. It just smells like a fresh brewed, like vanilla coffee. Let's try it out though. Wow. That is, that's crazy. So the original one tastes like a regular, like, vanilla frappe or like a vanilla mocha type drink, uh, type coffee. Um, I don't really do a whole lot of coffee, do that at But that kind of reminds me of a McDonald's frappe, that one right there. So that might have been their, the original one must be their hard coffee because that one tastes like that one did. So that one was, was originally called hard coffee. So next we have the mocha, which is pretty lady's favorite thing. She likes mocha everything and she likes adding extra shots of espresso. So. This has got a nice dark chocolate smell. Mm. Kind of, uh... Mm. You gotta really dig for that one. It's such a, like... I don't know. Cheers. Okay. I like that one. That kind of tastes like a cool type of um, hot chocolate. It's a cold chocolate. Instead of a hot chocolate, that's what that one tastes like. It's really, really good. It doesn't have quite the coffee taste. It has more of like a like a thin chocolate milk. Is what I'm, I'm going to go with that. Like a thin chocolate milk on that one. So next, we have the one that I'm kind of excited for. is the salted caramel and the hazelnut. I'm really excited for both of these. So up first we have the salted caramel. Mm. That one doesn't have such a strong smell to it compared to the other two so far. So this one's a lot lighter. It's not as potent, I guess you could say. But it does have a very slight smell to it. Cheers. The salted caramel kind of tasted very similar to the original. I was kind of expecting a little bit more sweetness in there, maybe a little bit more caramel, but overall, that one is a huge similarity to the original one. There wasn't much of a difference for me to be like, oh wow, there's a huge salted caramel taste. No, that one definitely tasted more like the original. And the last one, the hazelnut. 
That one smells amazing. This one, I smelled this one as soon as I poured it. Like, I, it came straight up. That one smells really good. Cheers. That one's really good. It's kind of slightly bitter, slightly dry. Um, but that one's really good. I like that. So, I'm going to say, original was my favorite. Honestly, I'm going to say the order that I drank them in is the order that I would rank them. The original, the mocha, the caramel, salted caramel, and the uh, hazelnut at the end is the way that I would put them in there. They tasted really, really good, though, all the way across the board. Um, I just felt like the hazelnut could have been a little bit more hazelnut and then the salted caramel could have been a little bit more salted caramel they all those two kind of more similar to the original the mocha was definitely different it was really neat i like that one but i like the original one the most because it definitely reminded me of the mcdonald's frat face and who doesn't like mcdonald's frat face so um really really good now the price so these are five percent each right um not a lot on these brood package by the 12 Five Beverage Company in Nina, Wisconsin, for Paps Blue Ribbon, Paps Brewing Company, San Antonio, Texas. Um, five percent alcohol, from what I understand. Yes, um, malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. So the variety pack itself, you get two of each. You get two of every flavor. So it's eight drinks. I split this with a friend, like I said. Uh, he was really wanting to try it, and I was really wanting to try it. No reason for both of us to buy it, so we split it. But you're going to be looking at about $18 for these. I want to say it's a bit steep on the price for what it is. The flavor is really good. I mean, I you could probably drink a couple of these, but you'd probably get a really bad headache after that. You know, um, Probably if I was to down these right away, I'd probably get a really bad headache. But I want to say that the price is a bit steep. But they do taste really good. So if you do want to have to, if you do want to go out and spend a little extra money on something different, go try the Paps Coffee Variety Pack. Really, really good. You can also buy the singular pack of just the originals, which I highly suggest that as well. But guys, hey, you know what it is. I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. So till later, text until always. I'm Justin. Welcome to the drink reviews, and I can't wait to see you guys around for some more. And tomorrow, another brand new review as we bring in the rest of the weekend and. Coming up on Miller Monday, guys. Y'all are the best. Hey, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And that notification bell lets you know when we do go live and when we post videos. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we post a video Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Y'all have a blessed one. Enjoy a great drink. And have a good weekend. See you guys.